Hi folks, this is Jay. Uh, we're coming to this book. Um, there's a lot of stuff in this Gospel Truth Answering the New Atheist Attacks on the Gospels. Um, as new churches were established, copies of apostolic writings were needed. The first decade after Jesus, there were churches throughout the land of Israel within the province of Syria and probably also in Rome. By the second decade, we know all sorts of the congregation in Asia Minor and Greece, but there were probably churches in other places as well. This was an accelerating process on which on one where hostile commentators such as Tacitus and Pliny describe Christianity as spreading disease. The persecution of Christians in the second and third centuries did not halt the rapid growth of Christianity. Once Constantine made Christianity the state religion, the need for more scripture for more churches explained the multiplicity text and therefore the survival of copy texts of the New Testament. So basically, <clears throat> the point is that if you're saying that Christianity is a myth, you've got to deal with the fact that when you look at ancient texts, such as Josephus, Tacitus, whatever, See how many copies we have and see how early these copies were. When you compare it to the New Testament, it's startling to find that the Gospels and other literature of the New Testament, that we begin to get earlier copies than other ancient literature and we get many more copies. What that tells you is when we read in the New Testament, we know that that's what Jesus was saying. We know it was his teaching. All right. And it's anti-intellectual to, to just sweep that aside and say Christianity developed through Chinese whispers. It just doesn't bear scrutiny intellectually.